All right, Josh Ritter still with us to help talk about this. Josh, so let's look at this objectively. As a former judge, that's what I'm trained to do. And we know that his defense is stand your ground. But as I listen to this video, I can't help but wonder how a jury is going to hear his voice at the time. Still to me, he sounds rather unconcerned that he knows he has shot someone. Yeah, he sounds very matter of fact. It sounds like he's just kind of talking with some of his, his buddies back at the station about, you know, this unfortunate circumstance of what took place. But it does not sound like a person who's very regretful of their actions, certainly not someone who's ashamed of their actions, and certainly not somebody who's distraught uh, over having taken a person's life. He's more, he seems kind of more bothered by the whole thing, and he feels like the whole situation could have been, been avoided uh, had this gentleman, the victim, not, you know, behaved in the manner that he did where very little is he is he responding to these questions about saying that perhaps there were things that he could have done. Uh, a lot of those, this is the problem when you're a defense attorney and your client goes ahead and talks to the police without speaking to you first, but a lot of these questions are incredible that they were able to ask like, what would you have done differently? Or what would you do in our position when investigating this type of a case? Um, I think a jury is going to have a hard time, end of the day, feeling that someone's life should have been taken over what may have been at worst a physical altercation.